Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are looking at five levels of Stratocaster from super cheap to super expensive. We'll talk about the features that each model offers and of course, do a little bit of a tone comparison to find out if the expensive ones actually sound better than the cheap ones. Should be a lot of fun. Here we go. Yes, welcome back to the channel, you guys. It is Strat Day in the studio, so it's gonna be a lot of fun. As I mentioned, we've got five different Stratocasters from five different series, from low to high, Squire to custom shop, and we're gonna talk about what each guitar gives you every time you kind of bump up to a next tier. What are the new features um, that each model offers? So here we go, we're gonna start with the Affinity. Well, Stratocaster number one is the venerable Affinity series from Squire, a hugely popular guitar. If you've played for any number of years, you've probably owned one or at least have a friend that has one. They're just so incredibly popular. This is the base model. There's a few different kind of sub models within the Affinity family. This is the cheapest one. They go from about $200 to $300, all sorts of different finishes. But on the base model, the cheapest one or the most affordable one, you get a vintage six screen trim system. It can be made to hold tune but out of the box most of them don't hold tune really well. Uh, ceramic based pickups, uh, small dime sized pots, uh, poplar or alder body. Most of them have three to five pieces kind of laminated together. It's hard to see because most of them have solid finishes. Uh, maple neck on this one. Gotta say it plays super nice. Satin on that neck classic you know you get the fender profile right on these cheap squires uh, 21 frets on this one pretty basic tuning machines plastic nut uh, so there are a few areas that could be upgraded on these affinities and most of them have a thinner body which can be good or bad the thin body feels great to play on but if you ever want to upgrade it like replacing the trim well you get into trouble because the body's a little thinner now Stratocaster number two is another very popular guitar and it's another Squire. This is the Squire Classic Vibe. Now this guitar retails for just over 400 US dollars, which is double that affinity from just over 200 to just over 400. Well, what does doubling your money get you in terms of features? Well, turns out actually quite a bit. Number one, well, you get much nicer tuning machines. These are vintage style tuners. Not everybody loves them. I really like them. So uh, that's a huge upgrade for me. And you also get a bone nut. Whereas on that Affinity, you just get a plastic nut and the tuning machines, you're probably like, well, I should probably upgrade them. They're not the best. I don't feel like that on the classic vibe. They're nice tuning machines and a nice bone nut. And in terms of like the neck and the profile, very, very similar on the classic vibe you get gloss neck over the satin so there you go on that one and the other big upgrade is the pickups you get alnico pickups over ceramic so on that affinity those ceramic pickups are pretty you know punchy and pretty full on here they're much more chimey and low output sort of like a classic strat now the electronics are very similar you still get small dime sized pots and a pretty you know cheap kind of switch so the electronics are not a huge upgrade over the, the Affinity, but the pickups are, and uh, the tuning machine and the nut, and it's just a very, very nice package overall. These are very popular for a reason. So I would say the upgrade for the Classic Vibe, depending if you want that, you know, prototypical Fender tone, uh, it's a worthy upgrade. Now Stratocaster number three is of course the Fender Player Series. Now these start at about 750 bucks, so almost double from that Classic Vibe up to the Player Series. This one has some cosmetic upgrades with that flame maple veneer and that cherry burst finish, which I think looks fantastic. Uh, I think it's a $30 upgrade from the base, but all the specs are the same as the regular Player Series. So what do you get for the money? Well, most notably, yeah, you get to see Fender on the headstock. The other two guitars say Squire. This one, you actually get Fender, which is kind of a big deal to most people. And you get Fender branded tuning machines, which are very good and easily upgraded up to lockers. So if you wanna spend the money and get lockers, they're just a pop in, pop out affair, which is really great. Now you are back to a plastic bone nut. That classic vibe had a, a bone nut. This one's called synthetic bone, which is plastic. So, you know, that kind of sucks. It would be nice if they kept that going. Uh, other than that, it's classic Strat though. Satin neck on this one, but yes, just that 
perfect C shape that we all know and love. All of these guitars have 9.5 inch radiuses. I'll link to them all so you can get individual specs, but they're all very similar in terms of how they play. Now on the player series, you get 22 frets. Unlike the other two guitars, you also get Alnico 5 pickups, which are a nice upgrade. These are really nice Alnico pickups. The old standards had ceramic pickups like the Affinity. These new player ones have Alnico. Now beyond the pickups, there's a few other notable big upgrades. Number one, this is the first model where you get proper full-sized pots and a really high quality switch. So that is a big upgrade. You also get a two-point trim and I gotta say it holds tune really well. The only disappointment is it's still a screw-in bar and not a pop-in bar. So, you know, trying to find the right tension and all that stuff, it's a little frustrating on that system. So it would have been nice if they had just gone all in. But since it is a two-point trim, probably upgrading it would be very easy easy. Uh, I don't think you would need to unless you really hate the bar. Uh, that's it. But it does function very smooth and very nice. So that's some really big upgrades with the electronics, with the pickups, with the trim system. 22 frets if I didn't mention it. I, the other ones had 21. And on the back you get the first big upgrade. Look at the size of that block. Just a huge beefy block in the back. And I gotta say cut really nice and clean on there too. No shielding, but cut very nice. So this is a very high quality guitar. It's a lifetime guitar, 750 bucks to like 800 bucks is a ton of money. So, you know, grabbing a guitar like this, you want to know that it's going to last you a lifetime. And the player series is proven. It's a great guitar, you know, top to bottom. My only thing is I don't like the, the screw and bar, but I can live with that. Uh, but those are the features that kind of set it apart from the affinity and the classic vibe. Now, Stratocaster number four is of course, the Fender American Professional Stratocaster. This is the model that Fender recommends if you're a professional player. Now this one starts at $1,500, which again is double that player series. Suddenly, you know, doubling the money gets pretty serious from $750 to $1,500. Now I think the main draw for a lot of people is this guitar is made in the US, whereas the player series is made in Mexico. Now, if you know anything about Fender's operations, you understand that the Mexico factory and the Fender factory are just a few miles apart across the border. So, you know, they basically operate as one giant company. Um, but I think it still is a draw, you know, to some people that this guitar is made in the US. Now, in terms of features, which is what we're focusing on today, what does doubling your money get you? Well, not a lot. <laughs> you do get the pop in bar here, which is very nice with the set screw. So it is more in my mind, a professional setup. Is it worth doubling your money? Uh, heck no, <laughs> but it's nice to have. You also get the V mod pickups. We're going to play them up against the player uh, pickups in a second. A uh, high end of electronics, pots and switches, of course. Now on the headstock, I still have the Riot tuning machines on because I want to do a long term review of these. But disappointingly on the American professional guitars, you don't get locking tuners. They're basically the same tuning machines that come on the player series, which in my mind is a pretty big miss for your professional guitar. I mean, we looked at a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago, uh, that Sterling guitar, that's 500 bucks with locking tuners. 500 bucks, this is 1500 bucks and you just get basic tuning machines. So in my mind, that's a miss on this model and Fender needs to start putting locking tuners on the American professional guitars. Uh, you do get the bone nut again. So we're kind of like Squire, classic vibe. You get the bone nut, player series, plastic, back to the professional series, back to bone. So that's a nice feature as well. And some of the attention to details, uh, you do get a rolled fingerboard edge. So that's kind of like a nice kind of broken in feel uh, on these guitars, which is nice. And of course, satin on the back of the neck, classic, classic Fender shape. Um, these ones have, I guess, the new deep C profile, I think they call it. It feels very similar to me, maybe slightly deeper along the, the spine there, but very, very comfortable. And, you know, when I literally pick up the player series and go to the professional series, um, it's yeah two seconds and you're like oh this is the basically the same guitar so they do say it's a, a different profile feels very similar to me so that's pretty much it you know so maybe higher end pickups whether you like the tone of them or not we'll find out in a second a little upgrade on the trim bone nut and that's it i think the the big price point from the player to the uh, american professional is the fact that it's made in the u.s 
Now, Stratocaster number five is the Fender Custom Shop. Are you ready to double or triple the money you've spent so far? Then you're ready for the Fender Custom Shop. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time here because I think we understand what a custom shop is. They will build anything you want. You want a Stratocaster with a mahogany body, they will do it for you. If you want a Strat with two humbuckers, they'll do it for you. Uh, flame maple neck or this one has a bird's eye maple neck they will do it for you so it's just if you have the money and the features that you want the custom shop will build it from you from every anything from like a vintage relic strat to an ultra modern strat uh, they will do it if you have the money so you know this one is kind of out there it's not practical for the vast majority of people but the affinity classic vibe player series american professional is a little bit more practical so let's move on from this to our playing test i'm just going to do a short clip on each guitar so that you guys can hear the difference as we go up in price tier uh, so that should be really interesting so let's jump into that right now <laughs> All right, next up, let's take a really quick look at the block of each one of these models. I'll just show you guys really quick so that you can sort of see how the upgrades go. This is the Affinity, obviously. Very, very thin block. Let's check out the next one. Now this, of course, is the Classic Vibe, and I've gotta say, no big upgrades over the Affinity. Looks very, very similar. Now moving up to the Player Series is where things get pretty interesting. You get a massive trim block upgrade. So that's really great to see. Now this is the American Professional and we're back to a smaller style block. Now I've got to say it does look, you know, quite a bit higher quality than the Affinity or the Classic Vibe, but interesting that the Mexican block is quite a bit bigger. And finally, this is the Select Strat, which is the highest end of the bunch, looks to be identical to the American Professional. So here are my personal recommendations if you're in the market for a Strat. Well, number one, if you need a good all-rounder, it's gotta be the Fender Player Series. This one is the best bang for your buck. You can get it in different configurations, like a humbucker, single, single, two humbuckers, that kind of thing. But with the two-point trim now and the Alnico pickups, 22 frets, it's a huge upgrade over the, the previous uh, Mexican standard guitars. And I think, you know, stepping up to 1500 bucks for an American professional certainly uh, is a diminishing return for your money. So I think this is where the sweet spot is. And now that you can get like little flame tops and bursts and stuff, there's a lot of options in that player series. So this is my choice if you want like a good all-rounder. Now, if you want a vintage Strat, I would actually step down to the classic vibe. You can get like, you know, made in Mexico, uh, 50s and 60s guitars, they go more like a thousand to twelve hundred bucks and then you're getting really close to like an American professional. So I would actually step down from the Mexican series to the classic vibe. I think this one is the best value. People do professional gigs on these things like they've been played anywhere and ev everywhere made for almost 15 years they're proven these are great guitars so these are my two choices i think these are great value options uh, for strats so i'll link to all the gear i used in today's video down in the video description below you can check that out if you're so inclined if you like videos like this be sure to subscribe to the channel click the bell to be notified when new videos are launched other than that have yourself a great day